Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so excited about today's video. I um, have been compiling like questions and emails that I've gotten and as well as just like things um, that I've picked up along the way, my own experiences and research that I've done. And anyway, I put it all together and I wanna share with you guys today a video that um, covers really just the basics of getting started in the Filofax world and just getting started with organizing and um, keeping a planner, starting a planner, maintaining it, decorating it, um, just little tools and accessories and things that will um, help get you along and get you started. So I hope this is helpful for you guys and I hope it's useful and you get, um, you pick up a tip or trick or something along the way. And like I said, these are things that I either kind of wish I had known or um, things that I learned, um, as well as things that other people told me. I was like so grateful to be in these communities and um, amongst a group of people that were like-minded and um, obsessed with planning and organizing and office supplies as much as I was. So I learned a lot from them as well. So anyway, I put it all together and um, I wanna share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is a very, very basic thing, but um, it's important. So it's about the sizes of the planners. Now, Filofax has A5 personal, um, pocket, I don't even know. They have a lot of different sizes. The only two that I've ever owned are the A5 and the personal size. So, um, and I know that other brands, like actually my personal size that I currently have right now is um, a Kate Spade. It's not a Filofax. And I also have a um, Louis Vuitton that I've had in a different video and I'll show you guys later too. But um, I know that other companies that make organizers, they're all pretty much the same specifications. And so if you buy paper refills, um, they should fit across the board. That's a general statement. Um, I originally, the first size that I bought was the um, Filofax A5, and I had calendar refills from um, Russell and Hazel, and they were the same size paper, but the whole alignment, the alignment of the holes was different and did not fit in here. So, um, like I said, it's just a general rule that it should be the same. That's not necessarily true for all sizes. So, let me just show you um, a comparison. Here is the A5. You can see it compared to my hand. And then here it is compared to the personal. So... It is a big difference, in my opinion. Like, it was enough for me to not be able to use this A5 on a daily basis, um, but there is plenty of room to write, so if that's important to you or you have, like, larger handwriting, you might like this one better. Um, but I have another video on this and how I set it up as a work business binder, um, and I'll link that below so you guys can see that. And then this personal size, I think, is a lot more practical for day-to-day um, -day use. But again, it's personal preference. So those are the two basic sizes. There are plenty of other sizes as well. Like I said, there's a um, pocket. There's a, I believe it's called a compact or a slim line in the Filofax brand, and that just has smaller rings. So um, it's you know the width and the width and the height are the same, but um, the ring size is smaller, so it's not as large of a binder. And you, but also, you can't put as much into it. So um, anyway, but yeah, those are basic sizes. So most of the time people will compare them, compare, you know, paper sizes to a personal size file of or an A5 size file. Okay, next I want to talk to you guys about tools. And these, okay, I want to say this. Before you guys get mad at me and I get hate comments and all this kind of stuff, I am not saying that you need to have all of these things and you need to go all out. Um, and have all these things in order to be organized or in order to have a pretty planner or any of that kind of stuff, okay? I'm just saying I think these are nice, useful things to have that make life a little bit easier if you want to have a cute planner and be organized and be in this fun Filofax community, which is a whole other world, okay? So please nobody like freak out and say that I'm advocating for people to go out there and spend money and all this kind of stuff. Okay. I'm not doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful and show like fun things. Okay. I should have said that at the beginning, but anyway, so I think the most important like 
um, extra necessity type thing that you should have is a hole punch, okay? Because if you have a hole punch, you can then, you don't have to spend tons of money on paper inserts and all that kind of stuff. You can print your own inserts. Um, you can use like the really cute paper from um, the dollar store or from the Target dollar spot or whatever and just punch it and use it. So the punch that I'm using is, let me see what's the best way to show you this. Let's do it this way. Yeah. This is the KW Trio. Okay. I at first got another punch, which I cannot remember the name of it, um, but I will put it somewhere here down below. Um, and I did not like that because I couldn't, I could adjust the, the holes back here, but I couldn't adjust it for um, A5 size. I had to like punch one side, then flip the paper over and punch this side to make sure that the holes aligned properly. And that was just too inconvenient for me, honestly. So I got this KW Trio and I will link everything below so that you can find it easily. Hopefully these are still available. Okay, here's the box. It's adjustable six hole punch K, just kidding, KW Trio uh, 9170, okay? So this is great, I love this. It is it is adjustable, it um, will punch A5 and personal. You just have to move these little, punch things back here. You don't have to flip the page or any of that kind of stuff. I honestly cannot remember how much this was. Maybe like $20 or $30, something like that. Um, and I ordered it on Amazon. I think it's I, it was international. Like it had to be sent to me international. So um, I don't know that it's available like in the US, but it's very easy to get from Amazon. Um, hopefully I'm saying that and I hope I can still find it to show you guys. Okay, the next tool I want to tell you guys about is a laminator. Now, I think it's a really cool thing to have, and I have loved having it. So I was able to make my own dividers um, just by tracing the ones that came with my file facts on to pretty paper, um, and then I sent them through this laminator. Now, I highly, highly recommend this. This is, I don't have the box still, but let me show you guys. It is Purple Cows, okay? It is available on Amazon. I don't know how much it is. I think it's like $25. Um, you can get it on Amazon. And the best part about this laminator is that it comes with tons, and I mean tons, of those laminating sheets, okay? Which if you've ever tried to buy those are very expensive. So this comes with tons and tons and tons of those laminating sheets of all different sizes, eight and a half by 11 down to like little card size. So I highly recommend this Purple Cows laminator. Now, is it like the best quality? Probably not, I'm, I'm positive it's not. But, and it's like a little bit noisy. It just makes this like, you know, noise. Like it's like really cranking out the paper. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not high quality. But I've never had any problems with it. I've laminated several things and I love that it comes with all those sizes of laminating sheets and it's worked perfectly for me and I've had it well, less than a year, but I've had it for a significant amount of time and have used it several times and really like it. So I highly recommend Purple Cows Laminator on Amazon. The final tool I wanna to tell you guys about is a paper cutter. These things um, range from expensive to affordable. I mean, I got this from Walmart. I think it was like $9, something like that. But you can get them anywhere. You can get them from Joann's, Hobby Lobby. Um, it's just really nice so you don't have to worry about like cutting in a straight line. And um, it's just, it's nice. I really like having this. It cuts a straight edge and um, you know, it's just a basic paper cutter. It makes life easier. So I would recommend getting one of these as well. Okay, now on to the fun stuff. I love my file effects accessories and decorating and all that kind of stuff. So um, let me just go through a few of the things that I really love. Obviously the most favorite and like most well-known accessory for decorating is washi tape. And you guys have seen this. I have tons of it. You can see it back behind me um, on my desk. I have tons of this stuff and I love it. I just it makes me happy and it's fun and I just, I think another thing people really love to use are these Muji stamps. Um, 
Muji, if you guys are not familiar with it, is a Japanese company. They do have stores in the U.S. I've only been to the one in New York City, but I believe that there's one in San Francisco as well. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, these are like the original... Muji stamps are like the original thing that got everyone started. Um and making these like stamping these checklists into their planners. Um, now several companies make these checklist stamps. Um, Studio L2E, I believe, uh, has a website that she sells stamps on and you can find them several different places. If you are getting a, um, okay, let me, I don't wanna talk too much about stamps, but let me just tell you this. See how this one is on an acrylic box already? So it's very easy to just stay, hold this and stamp it down, okay? So this is attached to that. Now, some places only will sell you the clear rubber part of the stamp and it comes in a sheet of like all these different ones, okay? So you need to buy an acrylic block. You can buy them for like as cheaply as a dollar from Michaels, okay? Or you can buy a much more extensive set and obviously pay a lot more for it. But um, you can buy those acrylic blocks, like I said, check Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels has them for a dollar, that's where I got mine. And then you will put the, um, that kind of rubbery clear stamp part, you'll just attach it to that acrylic block and that's what you'll use to stamp. Anyway, it's literally just like, it looks like this, but it's not as thick, it's just, and it comes in several different sizes. So anyway, if you're getting a stamp and you're wondering how or why you can't use it, it's because you need an acrylic stamp for that, acrylic block, okay? So another really helpful thing are these tape runners. You can get them everywhere, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. I think I got one of these, I can't remember which one, from TJ Maxx for like 99 cents. So a lot of places have them. Be careful um, that you get one that is repositionable because I have ruined many pages in my Filofax um, because I will, I think it's especially this one, the Studio G one, uh, the adhesive is not repositionable and so I will stick something down and not like it and then will tear the page as I'm trying to lift it up and move it somewhere else. So um, these are really great to have, just try to look for ones that are repositionable. You can use so many different other things to decorate. Um, tabs, you can get these little flags. I know most of you know this already, but if you don't, check the Target dollar section because they've got an incredible amount of super, super adorable and cute um, stationary items. So you can get little post-it notes. Just use your creativity. It really... Um, I think I got started in this whole world because I craved a creative outlet so much and I'm such a type A personality and like things to be so organized and so neat and orderly and this was perfect for me because it was a way for me to kind of have both extremes. I could be creative and express um, some kind of like, you know, creativity and make make it beautiful but also it was very neat and organized and um, I liked that a lot too. So I think this kind of offers the best of both worlds. So be sure to really let um, your personality shine and, and do the things that make you happy and you know find pretty stickers or tapes or you know whatever it is that makes you happy um, and use those things. Um, another thing that I use to decorate are stickers and I'm actually gonna show you guys stickers next because that is kind of a leeway into my last section which is uh, organization and storage of all this stuff. So uh, stickers are probably one of my most favorite things aside from washi and um, I was getting just I was buying a lot of stickers and wasn't necessarily using them all but needed a way to keep them organized and just keep track of what I had and so I was using kind of those accordion style um, I guess they're like binders. I don't know what they are. You know, you just kind of open them and it has an accordion set of dividers in there. But I couldn't see what I had. So I decided to make a sticker binder. So this is my sticker binder. Um, this is just the five and a half by eight. It's not the full eight and a half by 11. It's a five and a half by eight um, binder. I got it from Walmart. And you can see it just has this pocket and the three rings. So the bands are just decorative on there, um, but the binder itself, I just put um, these, what are these called? Sheet protectors. I just put sheet protectors in there and um, filled them with my stickers. So it is, it 
it is organized, but not as organized um, as I would hope. But still, it, I have everything in one place and I can flip through and look at things and know exactly what I have. And, um, you know, like it helps me have a theme. And um, if you guys are like not in the Filofax community and are watching this video, you're probably gonna think I'm the weirdest person ever. Like this grown woman has all, a book of stickers. Like I know that some of you are not gonna understand this, but for those of you that are in this community, and do understand it and do appreciate it and love office supplies and paper goodies as much as I do. Um, I, I hope you get this and I hope you um, like it and it, it's helpful for you. I just like I just realized I was like oh my gosh because I know a lot of people have followed me from my blog over to here and um, for like a couple of years now my blog has been um, strictly just like style and that kind of stuff and beauty and then my YouTube was just for a while. I don't know what it was. But anyway, I, most of my organization stuff has been on YouTube. So oh. for those of you that um, found me here and were not expecting this, um, I love office supplies and stickers. So this is what you get. <laughs> anyway, so I really highly recommend a um, sticker binder and using this. Okay, now I want to talk to you guys. My hair has been driving me crazy. Now on to storing washi tape. So as you can see behind me, I have this um, candy dish. It's an antique candy dish that belonged to my grandmother. I have a video showing that um, in a little bit more detail, so I'll link it down below. But that's what I'm currently using to store my washi tape. Um, I need to see things like if I if it's not in front of me and I don't see it I forget I have it and I don't use it so also I like to display pretty things and you guys know one of my resolutions for this year is to use all the pretty things in my life instead of um, you know saving them for a special occasion so my washi tape is out it's on display and I'm using it a lot more and it makes me happy to look at it so uh, if you have the space and um, want to display it I would definitely recommend thinking outside of the box and trying to find something um, to store and display your washi tape and accessories that um, will you know showcase it a little bit more and will encourage you to use it so I love that dish um, let me make sure you guys can see it yeah and also I'll link the video below like I said another thing that I love are decorative jars and this one um, I'm obsessed with this jar let me I want to see if you guys can see it, it ha I cracked it but it is a golden zebra okay that's the lid and then it's an acrylic jar um, I became friends with Irene who owns um, shop city girl it is a boutique on etsy and we became friends um because she actually did a giveaway on my blog of some of her goodies and i love like i love everything that irene makes so um i have i'm using her these jars and they come in like different um patterns there's a i have a um giraffe as well and there's this zebra and they're just so she hand makes them I'm obsessed with them so I use these for um, extra washi and stuff that I have and I highly recommend these um, so I'll link down to Irene's um, shop as well if you want to check it out um, she, I, she doesn't even know that I'm mentioning her so it, this was not like anything sponsored by her I just genuinely really really love her designs and think she does an amazing job so um, check out Irene and then also um, just any like I would suggest checking out TJ Maxx any like cute containers that you can um, display apothecary jars would be amazing actually I was storing some washi tape in an apothecary jar as well so um, check that kind of stuff out and then for pencils you guys know I've shown you this before I'm using this makeup bag from um, forever 21 and I just keep my like pens and markers and pencils and stuff in there you can use makeup bags or um, other pencil cases that you can order super cute ones I know a lot of people have ordered these um, passport cases like travel cases and that's like the hot new thing right now is to order those um, and I think they're really affordable on Amazon and then you can use those to organize stickers pens um, washi tape that kind of stuff 
for on the go if you want to use your planner. Um, so that's another cute idea to use that as well. I just, I don't have one of those, but I like that idea also. And the final thing I want to talk to you guys about is taking your planner with you um, or just like how to take all this stuff on the go and plan on the go. Um, some people will just throw their planner in their bag with their pencil case, for example, or um, some people will get those travel like airport, no, passport cases um, and use those for on the go planning. Um, I have two different systems that I've used in the past and so I thought I would share those with you guys. When I was just using one binder, um, I was putting it in my um, Kate Spade iPad case. So I was storing my planner and just like a couple of pens and a couple of rolls of washi tape or sticky notes in here and it would zip up perfectly, um, you know, fit in there perfectly. I could zip it up and this was my um, on the go case. So if you have an extra iPad case, you can um, definitely use that. The other thing that I really suggest using, and that's what I'm using right now, is a neoprene lunchbox, okay? Now, hear me out on this. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm actually using this. So this is my purse that I'm using right now and you can already see it like sticking out, okay? Let me show you like the inside. Let me see, can you guys see that? So this neoprene lunchbox is inside my purse. Okay, you can't see it very well. I'm gonna take it out, but I just wanted to show you that it like actually is in my purse, okay? Let me just um, take it out so you guys can see. So this just comes out, okay? So I carry like huge purses. And when I have my purse, I just, I don't want, I want everything to be contained. I don't wanna just throw it in there. So I had this lunchbox, okay, it is neoprene, and it is the perfect size for all my planners. See, can you see them in there? So, and my pencil case will even go in there too. And then everything is like, so if I just need to take this from, even from like one side of the house to the other, or just to bring it to work with me, even if I don't stick it in my purse, like just a cute little way to carry it around with me, okay? And so, you know, my, um, you guys know I have this like crazy system right now and I will, I'm going to do an updated system on my um, project management notebook because I've implemented bullet journaling and life mapping and I'm so happy that it's working out really well. So um, I will share that with you guys. This is what I'm using. It's so cute. Um, so anyway, I'll share that with you guys too, but um everything will fit in here perfectly. So my pencil case is in there. Um, my um, sugar paper, actual calendar, um, my Louie that I'm using for um, lists and master to-dos and that kind of stuff. And then I also just keep this um, makeup bag. I think this was in one of my what's in my bag videos, but I just keep this like, it's just a gold makeup bag. I love it. I think it's so pretty, but I keep my um, pen pal letters in here so I can, I, so they don't get messed up. And then also so I can, you know, see what I need to respond to and um, keep track of what letters I've gotten. And some of them I put up on that board and, you know, but I can't keep, I can't put them all up. So um, I just want to keep them with me. And um, so I put them in here. Okay guys, well that's it. I hope that you found something helpful and useful um, in all of this information and you could pick up some tips and tricks along the way and that there are things that you can use and implement. Like I said, most of this stuff was questions that I've been getting um, that I just kind of compiled, but then also things that um, I wish I knew as I was like getting started and just kind of things that I figured out along the way. So I thought I'd pass them along to you guys as well. Um, I'll link everything down below as well as some of my favorite shops to um, buy washi tape from and you know just any information that I have I will link up. If you guys enjoyed this, like I said, any questions leave them below or tweet me or find me on Facebook or message me, um, email me, whatever. Just There's lots of ways that you can find me. So if I can help, I'm happy to do so. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.